All right, new, uh, breaking news coming in over Arvind Kejriwal's uh, uh, stay on release. In fact, the latest that is coming in is that the High Court has extended Arvind Kejriwal's, uh, you know, the the stay on Arvind Kejriwal's bail. Now, this is crucial. And just for some context, remember, Arvind Kejriwal was granted bail by a Delhi court, the Delhi's Rouse Avenue court, after which the enforcement directorate went knocking on the doors of the High Court. The High Court, of course, uh, you know, uh, put a stay on the uh, or release of Arvind Kejriwal and now the stay has been extended. This as the Enforcement Directorate and Arvind Kejriwal's lawyer both made their arguments in court. The Enforcement Directorate, of course, pointed to the fact that uh, the special court or the lower court did not pay heed to the ED's file uh, as far as this entire liquor policy case is concerned. And now the Delhi High Court has extended that stay. The next hearing will be on the 25th of June. Uh, Ishika Varma is now joining us live on the phone line. So, Ishika... Some sort of a setback indeed for Arvind Kejriwal uh, because the Delhi High Court seems to be uh, very seriously examining what the Enforcement Directorate is claiming vis-a-vis -vis the liquor policy case, saying that its case file was not examined and that evidence has been ignored by the special, uh, by the special court, the Delhi's Rouse Avenue Court. Well, yes, Viran, in fact, you know, as you rightly said, uh, that it is certainly a big setback. Uh, for Arvind Kejriwal, uh, you know, because he had, in fact, uh, got a big relief from the Rouse Avenue Court. Uh, you know, so far, uh, if, uh, you know, if we talk about the regular bail is concerned. But today, in fact, the Enforcement Directorate approached the High Court. And today, you know, the order, in fact, saying that the, or uh, the order will be announced two to three days later. The next hearing is on Tuesday. Until then, the stay on, you know, Arvind Kejriwal's regular bail order continues. So this is certainly a big setback for Arvind Kejriwal because, you know, as you also rightly said, the celebrations were already made by the Aam Aadmi Party. They were all in a celebration mood. They were calling it a big win for themselves, you know, after Arvind Kejriwal was granted a regular bail, in fact, uh, by, uh, you know, uh, by the Rouse Avenue Court yesterday. But today, the Enforcement Directorate opposed this saying that none of, uh, you know, none of the documents that they had given were, in fact, you know, uh, considered by the Rouse Avenue Court when this uh, order was, in fact, delivered. So all of that points have been mentioned by the Enforcement Directorate. The Enforcement Directorate also saying that Arvind Kejival, in fact, had demanded, in fact, you know, 100, uh, 100 crore rupees uh, in his individual capacity and also his Aam Aadmi Party was using that 45 crore rupees of Havala money in the Goa election campaigning. They say that all of these points had already been, uh, you know, put forth by them in all the previous hearings, but none of it was considered by the Rouse Avenue Court. And the Rouse Avenue Court, in fact, they say, went on to, uh, in fact, state in its judgment that there is no direct evidence against Arvind Kejriwal and that enforcement directorate is working with bias against Arvind Kejriwal. And the ED today in the court said that this observation by the trial court is a wrong statement. And in fact, you know, uh, now certainly the High Court, in fact, you know, uh, putting a stay on this uh, big relief that Arvind Kejriwal was getting, big relief on the regular bail order of Arvind Kejriwal. And the next hearing is, in fact, on June 25th. So we'll have to wait and watch. But certainly it is a big setback now for Arvind Kejriwal as, as well as for the Aam Aadmi Party were already in the celebration mode. Over to you. Ishika, importantly, you know, just, just looking at how the arguments played out in court today, they were on expected lines, but the Enforcement Directorate seems extremely adamant on its point that a money trail has been recovered. Even though there's been no evidence really that has been put out in the public domain, the Enforcement Directorate says that there's a 45 crore rupee money trail and that is why Arvind Kejriwal, uh, you know, should continue to be in jail because, you know, the key investigation is still pending. But, you know, the fact of the matter is that Arvind Kejriwal has already already been confronted with key witnesses. So why is the Enforcement Directorate uh, so keen on, you know, uh, Arvind Kejriwal's release being extended, um, you know, the stay on the release being extended and also the Enforcement Directorate pointing out that, you know, a constitutional post cannot be ground, uh, you know, a, a, a valid or justified ground for release. Let me ask you a call, go. All right, we seem to have lost that line with Ishika there. But uh, as I said, how the 
arguments played out in court today extremely important in terms of how this case will play out further because remember the enforcement directorate made several important points saying that a money trail has been recovered and that Arvind Kejriwal merely because he is a chief minister the sitting chief minister of the national capital cannot be given special privileges as far as his release is concerned now remember Arvind Kejriwal's lawyer argued in fact Dr Singhvi was arguing on behalf of Arvind Kejriwal that uh, you know there seems to be a clear bias as far as the agency is concerned vis-a-vis -vis the liquor policy case in fact this is a point that was made by the special court as well uh, delhi's rao's avenue court in fact the justice uh, in its order said that there seems to be uh, a situation where uh, the agency is operating from a position of bias and that point was reiterated uh, today by arvind kejriwal's lawyer as well but a setback certainly for arvind kejriwal and looking at it politically as well we know for a fact that the aam aadmi party had planned massive celebrations in fact yesterday we saw top opposition leaders including akhilesh yadav tejasvi yadav top leaders from the congress coming out and saying that the truth has triumphed but that narrative uh, you know didn't last for long because the enforcement directorate went knocking on the doors of the delhi high court saying that this order is not justified and the primary argument was that the special court has not paid attention to the enforcement directorate's case file saying that the enforcement directorate was not given time and space to argue um uh, you know for the agency and as far as the investigation is concerned which is why the delhi high court decided to uh, you know stay arvind kejriwal's release now if you look at the past orders of the delhi high court as well those are also important in this context because delhi high court previously also has come down heavily on arvind kejriwal in fact the delhi high court uh, has refused bail to arvind kejriwal on uh, on multiple occasions in fact it has refused bail to manish sisodia on multiple occasions as well so given all of that it seems unlikely that the high court will grant bail to arvind kejriwal though however that is all in the realm of uh, conjecture and speculation for now the next hearing uh, will be on the 25th of june so arvind kejriwal essentially will stay in jail uh, for the next 4 days ishika varma is now live with us uh, so ishika as we were discussing how the arguments played out in court today it's important to analyze that as well because the enforcement directorate made the point that uh, you know as pa as far as the case file is concerned they have recovered a money trail of 45 crore rupees and that arvind kejriwal will have to stay in jail because a key part of the investigation is still pending given the fact that the delhi high court previously also has refused bail to arvind kejriwal how do you see this playing out now Well, Vedant, you know it is certainly a big setback for Arvind Kejriwal. In fact, you know because the uh, because in fact Arvind Kejriwal, his family, and in fact his party as well were expecting that he would be released today. You know, late evening, but uh, you know at 4 p.m. is what we were expecting that the order of the Rao's Avenue Court would be reaching the Tihar Jail. The Aam Aadmi Party had already made uh, you know the arrangement. Sunita Kejriwal had to go to Tihar Jail. At around 4 p.m., and she was all ready. And then, in fact, you know this, uh, you know uh, this judgment that came from the High Court. High Court now staying on the bail order, the regular bail order that was given by the Rao's Avenue Court just hours before. You know he had to be released from Tihar Jail. So it is certainly Vedan a big setback for Arvind Kejriwal, and in fact also for his party, the Aam Aadmi Party, who also went on to say that you know uh, Rao's Avenue Court giving that. regular bail was a big win for them because you know it showed that the entire case was fabricated and there was no evidence with the enforcement directorate well if we talk about the ed today ed had uh, approached the high court and there in fact they had said that while passing this order the trial court had not considered their arguments their uh, you know their documents and in fact their evidence also against arvind kejriwal ED had said that the observation that was made by the trial court that is in fact there is no direct evidence against Arvind Kejriwal and that ED is working with bias against Arvind Kejriwal was a wrong statement this is what the ED today said in the high court they in fact said that uh, you know uh, they have already in fact have evidence and have said this time and again in the court that Arvind Kejriwal demanded 100 crore rupees and all the in fact bribe givers 
members have confessed and you know have given their statements to the ED on this they also go on to say that it has already been established that 45 crore rupees of Hawala money was used by the Aam Admi Party in the Goa election campaigning and the ED today said that none of this was considered by the trial court while granting a regular bail to Arvind Kejriwal. So all of these points in fact Vedant you know were put forth by the Enforcement Directorate's counsel while on the other hand we also saw Kejriwal's counsel you know arguing saying that you know it is completely you know in a biased manner that the Enforcement Directorate is working against Arvind Kejriwal. So now the High Court certainly saying that the next so, uh, you know hearing will be on June 25th and till then it is in stay on you know Arvind Kejriwal's bail order. So certainly it is a big setback because Arvind Kejriwal and his party were waiting for this big relief.